Hey guys, Big Vic here, back with another vlog, vlog number 31, if you are a count, counting kind of person, um, vlog 31, um, loads to talk about, it's been ages since the last vlog, so loads to talk about again, behind with everything again, the world is crazy again, um, Vape Jam, I'll just very quickly say, um, I had a blast at Vape Jam, thank you to everyone that said hi and stopped for a chat, um, it was great. It was great to talk to you. Thank you for talking to me. Um, great to meet you and everything. And if you see me at Vape Expo or Vape Collective, please stop and say hi. I loved it. And uh, I hope the video went down okay. I don't know if you saw my finger on the lens in one of the clips. That was pretty epic. Um, that's, the, that's the level of professionalism you're going to get from me. Um, I don't know why it's part laziness, part incompetence. I just just this is the way it is. But I thought it went down okay. Um, the highlights video thing. I just want to give people a flavour of the event for people that couldn't make it. So that's that. So what have we got coming up? Got some first impressions of a couple of brand new mod things, um, and we've got. Some look backs at some items that have already been reviewed, how I'm getting on now. We've got some juice, and we've got a giveaway, and we've got loads of miscellaneous bits and bats I need to talk about as well. I better make a note of them. That would be clever, wouldn't it? Um, okay. Talk amongst yourselves. <laughs> okay, so... Um, Let's get to it. What am I vaping on? I'm vaping on a Velocity with the Signature Tips Dual Parallel Box Mod. I'm still to review this one as well. Um, but because I bought it myself, it's lower down the queue. You know, people that send me things deserve to go higher in the queue, you know? So, because it's a personal item, um, the same with this. This is the Watofo Lush. It's just an RDA that I personally wanted to own. Um, but I'm going to do an Is It All That video on the Watofo Lush, uh, Lush just to look back and give you some uh, thoughts on that at some point. God knows when. Um, so, let's get into it. What do we do first? We always do the comments. Now, it was ages since the previous uh, the previous uh, vlog. But, um, but we'll do the comments anyway. Um, as always, things you write in the comments may get read out in the vlog. Um, okay, so... Um, I can't remember who it was, but someone pondered, um, they pondered the question of why reviewers uh, wear hats. Um, and <laughs> I, I sort of said, just because they can't be bothered doing their hair for some videos, and that, and, that, and that's cool. Um, I look ridiculous in a hat, I think that's where it spawned from, because I got those caps sent to me from Glass. Um, so yeah, so it came from that. Uh, Candy McCann rightly pointed out, before I even had chance, uh, and thank you for watching the vlog, Candy, one of my favourite people in vaping. Uh, Candy McCann, uh, the YouTuber, said, um, can confirm hat isn't equals didn't want to do hair. Uh, Bob W also po cleverly points out that it might be because you're going bald. Um, another great reason to wear a hat. Um, yeah. Uh, so there is that. Um, stat 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 statistician why can't I say statistician statistician number one uh, says or is, is it even that stat statican statican one says uh, not into beards myself <laughs> we were also talking about beards I had a big silly beard on as well sent to me by Dean the vaping biker um, yeah I was sent a beard and I wore a beard, and we talked about beards a bit as well. Um, and uh, Staticam one says, "Not into beards myself, only because I am incapable of growing one." Lol. Um, so it's refreshing to see no beards, baseball caps, and lumberjack shirts on vape vids. Um, nice vlog, mate. I, I th yeah, yeah. I, I, I'm not gonna change the way I look, talk, or dress to help me fit in on YouTube. Um, I get that I'm not. That might make me less relatable. I get that it would be beneficial for me to look like a vapor, 
and act like a vapor and talk like a vapor and, and all that stuff. I get it. I get it. I get it. There's not really a thing with me. I'm not the vaping plumber or the vaping biker, and you can't pigeonhole me as easily, I guess. Um, just a northern, just another northern vape reviewer, I guess. But um, so, so yeah. So that's why I don't. I, I, yeah, I would look ridiculous with a beard. I look ridiculous in a baseball cap. That's a guarantee. I have got a lumberjack shirt, but I don't wear it. So I'm not going to put it on just to, to look a certain way on here. Um, so that is that. Um, EJS2000 said, It's because so many beardies are baldies. Well, I don't know. I don't, have you got any stats to back that up, mate? Um Hats and beards. Hats and beards. It's all about hats and beards. Liam Patterson says, "Nice vlogs, Vic. I have to agree with you on Sergeant Vapor Juice is very good, and also Yellow Bifra tastes goodness. Premium juice, in my opinion, should be savoured in mouth to lung tanks. Flavour builds and juice lasts longer. Um, yeah, uh, there there is a school of thought there as well. You know, premium juices." aren't specifically to be vaped all in an hour. <laughs> a 10ml bottle of a premium juice isn't... It's. Uh, I don't know if it's meant to be an hour of pleasure. I don't think it's meant to be a few days, or a few, you know, a week of, of, of occasionally nice enjoyment. Um, Halcyon Haze. I, I, I was really disappointed with the juice section in the previous vlog. I was sent too many... I was sent too much juice from those two lines. Um, uh, OFE sent me their whole line, and Halsey and Hayes sent me their whole line. Uh, and as a result, it, it was too overwhelming for a vlog. Um, so I, I'm going to change up the juice section for this uh, this uh, pot, this vlog. Um, but yes, but this is Halsey and Hayes that we talked about last time. I, I did not give it enough credit in that vlog. Um, I've been working my way through their juices, and on the whole, I think they're brilliant. Venus in Vapes is amazing it was the first thing I put in the Conqueror RTA and it blew me away it really did who else we got um, Hursty one says nice vlog as always Vic but I thought I'd watched the wrong vid and I was watching rip trippers at the start because of the beard um, not a beard fan itches like hell what you need is a flat cap and a whip it so you could be a proper tyke uh, that's, yeah, yeah, I could do that. Um, I had a really cool flat cap, but, um, uh, my dad nicked it. Um, and he's more the correct age to be wearing it, I guess. Um, uh, 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 um, John Chadwick, the Inky Vapor, go and check him out on YouTube. Uh, he's got a big beard, and he said, at least you look like a proper vapor in this video. Um, yeah, love you, John. I'll see you at Expo. I will see you at Expo, John. You will let me walk around with you so it looks like I've got a friend, John. Um, see you there, John. <laughs> I'm, ser I'm serious. Um, Kev Robshaw says, hey, Vic, Tsunami RDA on the Invader 3 just gets better. Hope you're enjoying it. Keep up the good work. We reviewed the Invader 3 recently. I think it's a tidy piece. I don't think it's as good as the Nano 60, um, but uh, I think it's a tidy mod for that price. If you look at what's out there that does what that does and the price of that, I think it's a tidy, tidy, tidy thing. And the Tsunami RDA, basically a Kennedy, isn't it? Uh, uh, and the Kennedy's great, so I assume that is great as well. Um, so, yeah, I've heard a lot of good things about the Tsunami RDA. So everybody go check that out. Ed Kennedy says, Hairs in the mouth is totally a real problem. Little scissors are the answer. Hashtag beard facts. Nice. Um, Joseph Coleman says, great vlog Vic. Is the OFE range sold in the UK or US? And I told him you can get it from Vape Club. So check that out. Um, this. Apple pie from OFE, Old Fashioned Elixir, is the absolute sauce. It is the sauce. It tastes like it doesn't taste like this generic juice apples that everybody does. It tastes like actual cooking apples. It's absolute business, and you you know how much juice I get sent, 
and as a result I only need to vape what I need to vape and if you look at how much is left oh can you see this basically there's not much left in that bottle which shows you what a good what how much I enjoy that juice you know that's all I'm gonna say about that you know um, one more maybe uh, Nigel Dauber says another great vlog from a top Yorkshire guy keep them coming uh, is it right, Smocker releasing a Nano One mod? And I said yes. Check out eSig Warehouse. Um, so yeah, that is the comments section. I'm not going to do a vlog topic because I haven't thought of one. Um, comment with whatever you like that crops up in this vlog, and it may get read out in the next vlog. Um, I'm not saying that as a carrot to comment. I, I don't know if that's appealing or not. Um, it's just what we do here. I like it to be more of a community channel than a me just. I don't know. I, I just like the. I like the. I love the interaction. I, the the really great thing about YouTube is the interaction, in my opinion. I just got home from work, um, and I only ever take one setup and one juice to work. So I'm lo I love my vape when I get back, and that's why I'm vaping so much. I think. Um, so that is that the exciting bit is upon us what is coming up for review i don't know how to put this but i'm kind of a big deal people know me i'm very important uh, i have many leather bound books and my apartment smells of rich mahogany okay so we got some tidy stuff coming up. If you ever want to really know what's coming up and when for review, um, follow me on Instagram at vapingvic, V1CK, because um, I take a picture of it way before I review it. So that's probably the easiest way to know like what's coming up. What is coming up? Uh, the Cool Fire 4 TC100 from off of Inakin. Um, it comes with the I sub V. Okay, first impressions of this mod. Uh, bear in mind, I love the Cool Fire 4 Plus. I don't care that it doesn't have temperature control. <laughs> um, and I love that mod. The battery life is superb. It looks great. It feels great in the hand. Fire button, love everything, blah, blah, blah. Lovely, lovely, lovely. The things that I didn't dig on the Cool Fire 4 Plus were the um, screen could have been so much better. The font is like dog shit and the 510 is not probably spring loaded it's tiny bit spongy and so certain things don't screw down um, now they have upped their game on the screen the screen looks way better way better in my opinion um, liking the screen love that it goes up to 100 watts uh, TC now has stainless steel as well um, they haven't fixed the 510 though which just baffles me Baffles me. Um, they're like literally the only negative people threw at the Cool Five Four Plus, and uh, they uh, they haven't. Uh, the, the, it's still a spongy five ten. I'm sure they're doing it for TC connectivity, but I would rather it be less connective, conductive, accurate, whatever. I'd rather it be less and everything fit flush because I'd rather it look good than be slightly more accurate in TC. Um, so that is where I'm at, the iSub V. I don't have the iSub uh, S to hand to compare it to, but basically they fixed the janky drip tip thing. Um, you know, it sort of went, no, you know, like that. Um, so they fixed that, so the drip tip looks all nice. Um, it's just a solid glass tank now, rather than having those barrel thinny doodahs. Um, the airflow feels swooshier, it feels cleaner, less like it's hitting things on its way up um, and they've completely changed which I'm very surprised by they've completely changed the top fill um, because it's now like a spring loaded top fill so you can fill juice right to the top which I get is good but I love the top fill on the I sub S it's literally click juice click nothing else to do uh, whereas this one you back to screwing it off and stuff um, very effective very good no leaks no problems but I so or so I'm I currently am still so in love with the way the top fill works on the um, thing. Um, vapes like this. 
and that is with a stainless steel head. They now have stainless steel heads. Um, that's with a stainless steel head in stainless steel TC mode. Um, so no, it isn't. Oh, but I have been messing. I have been messing with that. I have been messing with that uh, stainless steel mode, and the stainless steel mode works very well. I've actually just switched it over. So that's actually just straight wattage. 50 watts, 0.5. But there's no doubt in my mind that this is a good mod. Um, the TC, Inakin's TC board chip thing is off the charts in my opinion. It co This comes with a brand new Atheon chip. I don't know why they're branding the chip unless they plan on letting other people use it. That would make sense to me um, because it is a fantastically accurate and responsive TC chip. Um, so maybe, maybe that's what they're doing. Um, so that is that one. Okay, so the next thing is this. This is the Smoant Knight V1. Ooh, ooh, le, uh, uh. it's like a um, cross between a twat stick and um, like a helix. It's like an 18650 helix. A little bit, just a little bit. Certainly the buttons at the bottom are like this. Um, let's whop it on. Okay, so. The mod itself is rock solid, so heavy, um, and it really does take some getting used to firing it like that. Um, comes with the tank, it comes with this tank, this tank is called the Talos V1 tank, it comes with it, um, and it's all matchy. Um, the tank, not loving. Um, I'm not a massive fan of the taste of machine oil, um, and that it has that in spades. The mod itself, though, pretty tidy. Cool screen, cool screen, nice and clear, and they've not copied the layout either. They've got their own little layout going on. Um, it, you can turn it into variable voltage mode, which I'm a little bit of a fan of, um, and it does the business. Very pocket friendly, apart from it being so heavy. Um, I must be must be solid stainless, I think. Um, but yeah, so this bit at the top here, if you're wondering, that is your battery cap. So, Bosch, that's how you get in. That's how you swap out your 18650. Should you want to, you can charge it on board as well. Single 18650 mod, fairly standard affair, but obviously, oh goodness, what's going on here? But obviously, it's. Uh, it's in this cage, it's in this nested style, you know, this cage mod style, uh, which gives you that protection of the tank, you know, and it's cleverly lined up as well, so you can still mess with your airflow and things and stuff, and it, it just covers the centre of the tank and protects it a bit. Um, so this is all matchy-matchy, but ultimately... Not the gr So far, unless I can give this a nice good clean out and sort out, this tank... I'm not majorly buzzing about this tank. Um, no, I'm not, I'm not majorly buzzing about the tank, but if you put something else on here, a different tank, the mod's really good. So far, I'm enjoying the mod. This is going to appeal to some people, I think. Um, so quite excited to do the review for this. Well, I don't think it'd be that long. I don't think it'll be that long till I do that one. Um, so that is that. Other thing, I've got other things. Um, um, we've got this, not even out of the packet yet. Um, this is the Smoant Sharon uh, 316L.25. Uh, sub ohm clearomizer one would presume Smoant Sharon um, so that's we'll see what happens with that um, so we've got that uh, I sub V uh, various various things we've got lots of things coming up to be honest 
lots of things to do. But what we need to do now is look at previously reviewed items. So, the previously reviewed items we're going to touch on. Oh, what a great opportunity to do this as well. Um, Dino, Brian, Dino, Brian. Brian sent me this. It's an SVB SX350 mod. How beautiful is that? Why on earth he sent it to me? Like, apropos of nothing, like, literally just gave me this um, as, a, as a lovely gift. Um, I, I think it's absolutely beautiful. I've been a, a, fa a fan of Soul, ba ba Soul Vapor Baby, uh, Nigel. I've been a fan, because I've been on UKV forum a very long time, and so has he, and I've been a fan of his work for so long, and... It's just stunning. Look at it. It's stunning. I hope that comes across on camera. Um, beautiful. Absolutely beautiful mod. Thank you so much, Brian, for sending me this. Um, absolutely blown away. He even sent a matching uh, drip tip from one of those fancy drip tip companies. Which one is it? Um, Siam Mods, I think. I think it's a Siam Mods drip tip. I think I'm right in saying that. Um, yeah. Um, <laughs> uh, but yeah, I'm blown away by this. I think it's absolutely stunning and beautiful. Um, and thank you, just just straight up, straight up. Thank you. That's all I can say um, about that. Thank you very much. Um, genuinely, I'm so pleased and happy to have received it. Um, but what we're talking about is the previously reviewed Watofo Conqueror. Um, I don't need to go on and on about this. I think it's an absolutely top draw RTA. In my opinion, it's a fantastic RTA. Watch the review if you want to hear the negatives, but in a nutshell, it's absolutely awesome. The flavour is just... Beautiful. Genuinely. So into that. Um, job. I, I, I think it's a great. Thank you so much for the mod, Brian. I'm blown away by that. But I, and also, I love the Watofo Conqueror RTA. Genuine love for that. Uh, what's next? The Illyria, which I have on the Tesla uh, 60 Nano. Go and check out the review for that one as well. I like it. I think it's great. Um, the Illyria RTA is good. I haven't got any juice in here so I can't vape it. Um, but uh, it's solid. It's rock solid. It's along the same lines as the Cryos and those things and and what have you. Um, good RTA. Good solid RTA. Not the greatest ever RTA um, but a good solid RTA from Org Vape. Uh, pleased with that. Still using it. Still in rotation uh, which is always a good sign. Um, so there's that. The coil art coils, still using them. Uh, da, 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 those, um, I, think, I, think, I think they're cool. Uh, I've passed some of them on to some people uh, to see what they think as well. Uh, I think they're great. Look, keep an eye out for those. If you've got any of those tanks, you know, Heracles, Atlantis 2, uh, those sort of tanks, you know, or any of the Kanga line, um, Keep an eye out for those heads, because I think they're cool. I think they're genuinely cool. Um, so bear that in mind. Okay, so that was that. Oh, the last thing I'm just going to touch on, the Hell's Gate Touch 200 mod. Um, I know that I did the review as a beta, because I know they're still working on the firmware. Um, I know Bogan ripped it to pieces. Um, I think he feels he should not have been sent it in this condition. I, I think he feels like he is not a beta tester for them, uh, for Yep Sig. Um, and totally understand his point of view. Go and check out his video, it's hilarious. Um, he rips it to pieces, and I completely understand. Uh, I just wanted to give you guys a look of it and tell them in video format what's wrong because uh, they're very tricky to communicate with um, if I'm honest um, and so if I, if I did a video explain all the things that need fixing on the firmware it might help them with the next update and I know the updates are coming 
bit by bit from them. So they're still working on this. Don't know when it'll get in, go into production as an actual for sale mod. Um, but uh, if they're, hopefully they fix it, you know. Um, so that's 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 what happened with that. That's what the deal was with that. Uh, it is time for the juice section. Let's go. It's quite pungent. Oh yeah. It stings the nostrils. Brian, I'm gonna be honest with you. That smells like pure gasoline. That doesn't make sense. Okay, so first juice uh, to talk about today. Uh, Yorkshire Vapor have a brand new flavour. I've talked about this a bit before, I think, already. But the OC from the Yorkshire Vapor. Brand new packaging as well. Check this out. Look at that. Packaging. New, brand swanky, doodah packaging. Amaze balls. Uh, the OC, it stands for Orange Custard. And I'm literally vaping it right now in this vlog. Um... I think it's great. I tried it a couple of months ago, like a beta, uh, in the shop, and uh, I think I thought it was brilliant. Um, it's great. I really like this flavour. Really love this juice. Um, I think it's really, really good. Uh, loving the new packaging as well. Uh, Yorkshire Vapor, the Yorkshire uk. Go and check the site out because it's got loads of cool stuff, and specifically this new juice is the tits. Um, Orange custard shouldn't work really, I guess, should it? Um, but it does work. It just, just, just works. It just works. Um, I think it works because the orange isn't like traditional attempt at fruit orange. It's more like, you know, your Terry's chocolate orange, your, your desserty orange type situation. And the custard isn't too custardy, you know, it isn't like a vanilla custard. It's more like, you know, the Yorkshire Vapor's own style custard. Like very just creamy. So it's like it's like dessert oranges and cream, you know, Terry's chocolate orange, think along those lines. Um and I like it. I like it. Um so go check that out. Next one is Sent a couple of juices from Diamond Heights Vapor. Uh, <laughs> higher Clouds and Apple Tobacco. I'm liking the Higher Clouds and uh, the wife is liking Apple Tobacco. So, happy days, uh, Diamond Heights Vapor. DiamondHeightsVapor.com And there you go. Fully compliant and all that stuff there. Um, decent. You know, decent and very affordable as well. Um, yeah. Go and check them out as well. Link in the description, diamondheightsvapor.com. Um, cool. Very cool. Last juice to mention, I think. Oh, I want to just give a special shout out to this as well. Uh, Thai Mango Sticky Rice uh, from the Vape Kitchen. I picked up some more at Vape Jam. Um, they were, I think they were a special mention in my top five juices video um, that I did a little while back. Uh, they're a special mention. I love it. I just love it so much. I think it's just such a nice juice. Um, and it is available in this country. Before you ask, you can get it. Just Google it. Uh, Thai Mango Sticky Rice from the Vape Kitchen is dope. Okay, so that's that one. Um, I was sent this bottle of Sky 7, a new flavour from 13 Sins. Look at this cool packaging, yeah? Yeah? You having that? You having that? Look, it's bright red as well. I've got it in here. Got it in here. Look at that. Bright red. I don't know what that's about, but it does look cool. Um, 13 Sins. Thir check out 13 Sins. Give them a little Google as well. Link in the description. 13 Sins. Uh, they have really cool line of juice, really cool packaging and everything as well. This one... Have you tried Red Astaire? It reminds me a lot of Red Astaire. Um, is it T-Max that do that? I can't remember. But uh, Red Astaire, if you've tried that, it's beautiful. beautiful. Red Astaire is beautiful. This reminds me of it, and this is very nice, very vapable. Um, sort of like a cross between um, more complex flavours like aniseed and stuff, but mixed in with like that red stuff that the ice cream man puts on your ice cream. <laughs> It's got like the sort of raspberry ribenery thing going on, mixed in with a little bit of other stuff. But mega cool, mega cool. Link in the description. Thirteen sins, 
Um, I can certainly recommend Sky 7 from 13 Sins. I've been really enjoying it. I had to actually, and if you look at the bottle, not much left. I had to hold back this juice. I had to put it in a box to put it to one side. Otherwise, I wouldn't have any to vape in the vlog in the juice section. So, um, 13 Sins. Sky 7, very good. Very good indeed. Okay, uh, let's let's can the juice section there. Let's go on to miscellaneous things I need to talk about. Blah blah blah. Or do you want the giveaway next? Ooh, ooh, decisions. All right, let's do a giveaway. Um, giveaway, 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 giveaway. We are giving away. I'm not making this up on the spot. I don't. I had already decided. I'm giving away in this vlog. Giveaway 31. I'm giving away this, I'm giving away the Tesla 3 um, mod that I reviewed um, recently, the Tesla 3 mod, um, absolute mammoth, um, very high wattage, 240 watts, um, 240 watt mod, um, very cool, I'm also going to give away with it the uh, Hasta RDTA, Hasta RDTA. Um, from Cthulhu, CthulhuMod.com, uh, and and the bottle, the bottle that you need to fill to fill it with as well. Um, two things that got fairly decent reviews from me, um, and I'm going to give them away to you um, in this vlog. So, how do you win them? All you need to do is email me cd underscore v1ck at hotmail dot com. Uh, email me with title of the email, subject of the email needs to be giveaway31. Um, then I need the answer to the question I'm about to ask and um, I also need your name and address in the body of the email as well. So name and address and answer in the body, giveaway31 in the title, um, cd underscore v1ck at hotmail.com. Uh, details in the description as always. The question the Tesla Invader 3, what is the advertised max wattage of this mod? Um, put the answer, put that answer, that number of watts in the body of the email with your name and address and title subject of giveaway 31. And uh, you may well be the winner of that. Um, I can't remember the name of the previous winner. I think it was Tio. Uh, I think Tio won the previous giveaway and I don't even remember what that was for. Was it a was it a was it an Inakin Endura 22? I don't even remember. I'm sorry, I just don't remember. But they've got it, so don't email me saying you're the winner because um, I, I don't like that. Um, okay, so that is that. That's the giveaway. Other things I want to mention again. If you follow me on Instagram, you know. Um, I did a rap. I did a rap. I did a wrap on my mod so that it would be all matchy with the um, with the Petri, which I also reviewed, and I accidentally said it was made in America. Apologies for that. That was a silly thing to say. Um, I, I did a wrap. I did a wrap. The wrap, the wrap was from, and let me not get this wrong. Oh, oh, it's from zapwraps.co.uk with a Z. Z A P. W R A P Z dot co dot UK Zap Raps dot co dot UK um, was that the rap was from and yeah I just made it all matchy matchy and that is uh, for someone like me doing these raps is very tricky for normal people it's a piece of cake and I think their raps are brilliant and I think they're brilliant so go and check them out um, look at all these cool pictures of the mo of other raps that they've got they've got a brand new one now as well called Tron Tron rap and it looks amazing, looks dope. Um, so yeah, so I did this all matchy matchy. I wonder if I've got some. No, I haven't got any juice in here. What I don't. Oh, I don't have time. Um, but yes, so uh, zapraps.co.uk. Go and check them out. I think they're cool, really cool. And uh, yeah. Go and have a look on their website and look at all this cool. Look, look at all the wraps. They will definitely have a wrap for a mod that you own. So have a think about what you want wrapping. Um, what else is there? Anything else we need to talk about? I think that's it. You know. Hmm. 
What else? I'm going to Vape Expo. So come and say hi. Come to Vape Expo, etc. I'm staying over as well, so drink your poos. Um, oh, I know the other thing I was going to tell you. I'll sit back up. Um, I know the other thing I was going to tell you. I'm or I was on the Ideal Ohm Show. I was on the Ideal Ohm Show. Uh, literally type into YouTube search bar Ideal Ohm Show. It is a show. It's like the English Plumes of Hazard. They won't like that. I've called it that. But that's what it is like. It's like that. It's a live show every Thursday at 9 p.m. on YouTube and the Ohm page. Um, the Ideal Ohm Show. Yeah, I was a, a guest on there. I had a great time. Love those guys. Um, big fan of the show and it was a privilege and an honour to be a guest on it um, and I really had a great time so again link in the description to that um, go and check that out please go check that out because the good stuff let's subscribe and like and share the good stuff and ignore the crap stuff um, and that is the good stuff you know that is the good stuff on YouTube those guys know their onions uh, and uh, it's a great show and I was on it and if you want to see me on it if you want to see me squirming around in a live environment um, then go and check that out uh, definitely the other thing I want, I would, I'm going to put a link in the description to is the new um, hashtag Riyadh channel um, I'll put a link in the description to that let's make a note sorry okay I'll make a note of that um, hashtag Riyadh funny video he's, he's only done one video so far really funny though and I like the people that do different stuff that's why I'm such a big fan of so much vape um, check them out as well <laughs> uh, but uh, yeah he's, he's, he's done a really funny video and he's going to be doing loads of really funny vaping related videos uh, so go and check that out as well maybe link in the description to that uh, hi Rick if you're watching you're not he doesn't watch stuff like this um, but uh, anyway yeah so um, big shout out to Rick from VT UK um, new his new channel is called hashtag Riyadh and it's really funny uh, so go and check that out I think it's going to be cool um, that's that that's everything that's definitely everything uh, anything that I've missed I'll write in the description so maybe just check out the description uh, oh, oh too late to tell you but there's timestamps in there as well so you can skip the boring bits uh, never mind I'll tell you next time uh, I've been vaping Vic V1CK and I'll see you on the next one loads of cool reviews coming up all hardware all good stuff um, so please stick around if you can uh, comment with some random nonsense in the comment section if you're still watching now that I mean wow just put some random in the comments and it'll get read out in the next one I've been Vic and I'll see you again soon bye